Hey everyone, everybody keeps asking me how many worms are in the Mammoth 1 right now, and I, I honestly don't know. So I'm going to try and get an approximation of how many worms are in here. So what I did is I pulled out about a 9 inch by 9 inch by 6 or 7 inches deep section of area on one of the corners. And uh, no particular reason why I grabbed that amount other than that's about how much I could put into my flat mortar tray here. So I piled all that material in here and I'm going to go ahead and do the light method of separation on these uh, worms and just get an idea how many worms are in here. And then uh, based on this we'll do an approximate calculation over the surface area of the whole bag. Because uh, there's definitely more worms down deeper. Uh, I didn't end them right there, but it at least give me an idea how many worms are on here. And this is a big pile, just out of that nine inches. It's a large pile. So I'll take the painful, slow method of doing light separation. Okay, that's getting pretty close. I've got most of the material out. I mean, I could, I could get it for there's even less dirt here. I might try just do one more little lift, pull the stuff off the bottom. And take those few right there. I don't want to stress them out too much and get them for it's 100% pure worms, but for the most part now that's one solid ball of worms. So I'm going to put that in my scale, the last couple worms that are here. Okay, there we have it. So there's our worms in there, pretty well separated out. In the tub, we got one point, one pound and three ounces. So not quite a pound and a quarter, a pound and an eighth, just a little over a pound of worms. Okay, I put the worms back in the bag. I, I put most, about half of them in the bag and I put the other half in this container I'm going to use to set up a worm bag at the school here. So if I have one and eight pounds for every nine square inches, uh, I calculated that up now and there's about a little over a thousand square inches on the surface of this bag right now, 1,081 and divide that into the 81 inches into it and I get well over 12. So if I had that same density everywhere in the bag I'd have about 12 pounds of worms in here now. Uh, and that's probably realistic. The center of the bag probably doesn't have quite the density. Right in the dead center, it seems a little bit less dense. But again, I didn't go, I only went six inches deep, and there's worms down deeper than that, too. So I didn't really collect all the worms in this nine square inches. So, you know, absolutely I have more than 10 pounds in the bag, and possibly upwards of, you know, 15 pounds. But you know, it calculates out to about 12 pounds of worms right now. So that's a really good uh, population uh, for this bag. It, it can handle more than that for sure. But uh, so anyway, for all those folks who've been asking how many worms I have in there now, I'd say a good approximation is about 12 pounds. This is Tom from Vermibag. Ciao.